dear students today we will solve one example in ratio analysis in advanced accounting and auditing paper 6 for ty bcom semester 5 veer nirmat south gujarat university here is the question the balance sheet of kaval limited as on 31st march 2018 equities and liabilities shareholders fund equity share capital of rupees 100 each rupees 20 20 lakhs 10 percent preference share capital of rupees 100 each rupees 8 lakh reserve and surplus general reserve rupees 4 lakh profit and loss account 3 lakh 50000 so total shareholders fund amount to 35 lakh 50000 next number 2 non current liabilities we have 14 percent debentures of rupees 15 lakhs number 3 current liabilities in that we have trade payables sundry creditors 1 lakh 20000 bills payable rupees 40000 so total 1 lakh 60000 b other current liabilities we have provident fund rupees 2 lakh bank overdraft rupees 15000 so total 2 lakh 15000 and c short term provisions that is for outstanding expenses rupees 5000 and total 54 lakh 30000 here we have a second part of balance sheet that is assets first non current assets in which we have tangible assets land and building rupees 12 lakh machinery rupees 9 lakh furniture rupees 3 lakh and b intangible assets goodwill 70000 so total non current assets 24 lakh 70000 then c other non current assets we have underwriting commission rupees 50000 so and second part current assets inventories stock rupees 4 lakh trade receivable we have debtors 6 lakh 35000 bills receivable 1 lakh 15000 cash and cash equivalent we have cash and bank balance 17 lakh 60 60000 so total current assets 29 lakh 10000 and total 54 lakh 30000 now additional information number 1 opening stock is 3/4 of closing stock rate of gross profit 39% net profit before interest and 40% taxes in rupees 14 lakh 60000 total cash sales which is 24% of the total sales rupees 12 lakh and total working days are 360 from the above balance sheets and additional information we are to calculate number 1 net profit ratio number 2 stock turnover ratio number 3 interest coverage ratio number 4 proprietary ratio number 5 liquid ratio number 6 debtors ratio and number 7 rate of return on equity share capital dear students let us understand this sum first of all we are given balance sheet and uh, there is nothing new in the balance sheet all all the elements of balance sheet are very well known to us some additional information is available in which opening stock is 3/4 of closing stock my dear students here we have closing stock rupees 4 lakh so opening stock would be 3/4 of 4 lakh that is rupees 3 lakh then our rate of gross profit is 39% dear students here sale information is not readily available but in additional information number 4 we are given cash sale information which is 24% of total sales amount rupees 12 lakh so our total sales would be cash sale rupees 12 lakh divided by 24 percentage so our total sale will amount to rupees 50 lakhs now with this information of sales 
we will be in a position to work out gross profit 39% of total sales rupees 50 lakhs so like this we will work out some additional requirements and calculate the ratios let us solve the example first some basic workings opening stock is equal to closing stock into 3 by 4 already we have discussed so we get opening stock rupees 3 lakh now we will calculate average stock that is opening stock plus closing stock divide by 2 opening stock 3 lakh as per our calculation plus closing stock rupees 4 lakh from balance it divide by 2 so we get average stock rupees 3 lakh 50 thousand number 3 total sales from the information given of cash sales and information number 4 our cash sale is 24 percent of total sales and the amount is 12 lakh so our total sale would be cash sales divided by 24 multiplied by 100 so it would be 12 lakh divided by 24 multiplied by 100 so our total sales would be rupees 50 lakhs and credit sales will be total sales minus cash sales that is 50 lakh minus 12 lakh rupees 38 lakhs and our cost of goods sold would be sales multiply 100 minus GP ratio that is 50 lakh multiply 100 minus 39 percentage that is 61 percentage so our cost of goods sold amount to 30 lakh 50 thousand or my dear students you can find out gross profit it would be 50 lakh into 39 percentage and then from sales minus gross profit we will get cost of goods sold 30 lakh 50 thousand so we calculate first ratio net profit ratio and our formula is net profit after tax divided by sales multiply by 100 so let us work out net profit after tax so we have net profit before interest and tax rupees 14 lakh 60,000 from this profit first we will deduct debenture interest rupees 2 lakh 10,000 so we get net profit before tax rupees 12 lakh 50,000 from this 12 lakh 50,000 we will deduct provision for tax at the rate 40 percentage so 40 percent of 12 lakh 50,000 amounts to rupees 5 lakh so our net profit after tax amount to rupees 7 lakh 50,000 now let us put this data in our formula so net profit after tax rupees 7 lakh 50,000 divide by sales rupees 50 lakhs multiply by 100 so we get net profit ratio as 15 percentage our second ratio is stock turnover ratio and our formula is cost of goods sold divided by average stock already we have calculated our cost of goods sold that is 30 lakh 50 thousand divided by average stock 3 lakh 50 thousand so our stock turnover ratio amounts to 8.71 times our third ratio is interest coverage ratio and our formula is earning before interest and tax divided by debenture interest or interest our EBIT rupees 14 lakh 60 thousand already given in this sum divided by interest on debenture 2 lakh 10 thousand so our interest coverage ratio is 6.95 times our next ratio is proprietary ratio and our formula is owners fund divided by total assets multiply by 100 our working for owners fund is equity share capital rupees 20 lakhs preference share capital rupees 8 lakh profit and loss account credit balance 3 lakh 50 thousand general reserve rupees 4 lakh so total 35 lakh 50 thousand minus underwriting commission that is fictitious assets 50 thousand so our owners fund amount to rupees 35 lakhs and total assets amount to 53 lakh 80 thousand from the balance set multiply by 100 so our proprietary ratio amounts to 65.05 percentage our next ratio 
नंबर फाइव इज लिक्विड रेशियो एंड फॉर्मूला इज लिक्विड एसेट्स अपॉन लिक्विड लाइबिलिटीज सो लिक्विड एसेट्स एज पर बैलेंस इट डेटर्स सिक्स लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल वन लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड कैश एंड बैंक बैलेंस सेवनटीन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सो अवर टोटल लिक्विड एसेट्स अमाउंट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव लैख टेन थाउजेंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इन्वेंटरीज और अ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल नेवर बी टेकन वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग लिक्विड एसेट्स नाउ लिक्विड लाइबिलिटीज वी हैव क्रेडिटर्स रुपीज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिल्स पेबल रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड प्रोविडेंट फंड रुपीज टू लैख एंड आउटस्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंसिस रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड सो अवर टोटल लिक्विड लाइबिलिटीज अमाउंट टू रुपीज थ्री लैख सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड Dear students, here you note one point that while calculating liquid liabilities, please do not take into account bank overdraft. Now let us put both the data in our formula. So twenty five lakh ten thousand is our liquid assets divided by three lakh sixty five thousand liquid liabilities. So our liquid ratio amounts to six point eight seven is to one. Our next ratio, number six, is debtors ratio, and formula is debtors plus bills receivable divided by credit sales multiplied by three hundred sixty days. Debtors as per balance sheet, we have six lakh thirty five thousand plus bills receivable one lakh fifteen thousand divided by credit sales. Already we have calculated rupees thirty eight lakh multiplied three hundred and sixty. So our debtors ratio amount to seventy two days. Our next and last ratio is return on equity share capital. Our formula is earning after tax minus preference dividend divided by equity share capital multiplied by hundred. Let us see the working for net profit after tax. We are given net profit before interest and tax fourteen lakh sixty thousand. From this, we will deduct debenture interest rupees ten two lakh ten thousand. So we get net profit before tax twelve lakh fifty thousand. From this, we will deduct provision for tax at forty percent. It would be five lakh twelve lakh fifty thousand multiply forty percent would be five lakh. So our net profit after tax amount to seven lakh fifty thousand. From this seven lakh fifty thousand, we will deduct. Reference dividend rupees eighty thousand, and our equity share capital as per the balance sheet rupees twenty lakhs multiply by hundred. So finally we get return on equity share capital thirty three point five zero percentage. Dear students, thank you very much for watching this video lecture. Very soon we will meet with another example in ratio analysis.